any one of these things that I've been warning you guys about could go live at any time. Uh, the Russian exercises that they're doing until the end of the month, uh, the NATO exercises also at the same time, and also the Chinese. Um, Chinese Navy is very busy right now in the uh, Western Pacific, which would be to their east, to our west, um, around the Philippines and Japan, Taiwan, South China Sea. Um, they could take those places at any time because China's conscripted a naval maritime force of like a maritime militia that they can put aboard these uh, gigantic fishing boats because China has a civil military fusion. So anything that can be used for civilian purposes can be repurposed for uh, their armed forces. Uh, and that's troubling because they can commandeer these things and use them as troop transports and other things. And it would be stealthy as part of their hybrid uh, fourth generation warfare. Uh, and Russia could do very much the same because they have those capabilities. Um, you don't see that in Western nations because of all the laws and things, but um, I doubt we would do that uh, just because it would be such a headache. And, uh, you know, you have the free Chinese, which are the Taiwanese, um, and then you have the red Chinese, which are under a totalitarian regime. Now, the red Chinese are like Lego people. They can outproduce us in pretty much everything. They can build things four times as fast as we can, and they're putting out, you know, aircraft carriers at a fast pace. But aircraft carriers aren't the future because they have anti-carrier uh, uh, ballistic missiles and they have anti-ship missiles that can pretty much act as uh, standoff weapons to keep them away from their coastlines. So aircraft carriers are becoming obsolete other than maybe for a defensive purpose, like if you want to push your defenses out further, which is what the Chinese use theirs for. It won't be so much for power projection anymore um, because the Chinese will, are already in North America. And uh, the West, not just America, but Europe, is in danger because the Russians just tested their caliber cruise missiles, which can also hit air targets, might I add, but they've uh, tested them at sea. And the caliber is the missile system that's inside these Club Ks, which are the disguised caliber missiles, which four of them can launch from one container. They're disguised as shipping containers. So uh, keep in mind that uh, until the end of the month, these things can go live at any moment, and they can escalate quickly to nuclear warfare. And the mainstream media won't tell you about it. And that's a huge problem, because... You won't really probably know about it until within 30 minutes, 15 minutes, because of the hypersonic weaponry that they can use to deliver these things. You won't, you really won't know until minutes before it happens. And then the Russians have their doomsday sub, which can cause uh, radioactive tsunamis in uh, regional coastal areas. So when you read in the Bible and it talks about the United States being desolate, Gee, that sure sounds like a nuclear war happened to me, by the descriptions of it, and men drinking water and dying. But uh, I will come back on again tonight and with some more updates. May Yeshua bless and keep you all always.